हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज पी एन एमरसी हाई स्कूल ई क्लासेस आई एम वंदना यादव योर साइंस टीचर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू लेसन नंबर वन क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट first thing which came in our mind is what is agriculture agriculture is a science and art of art of cultivating certain plants and raising of domesticated animals agriculture was the key development for human civilization the history of agriculture been 10000 years ago till 10000 bc people were nomadic they were wandering in groups from place to place in search of food and shelter they ate raw fruits and vegetables and started hunting for animals for food later they could cultivate land and produce rice wheat other food crops thus was born agriculture now what is importance of agriculture and in india is an agricultural country about 70% of our population depends on agriculture our economy is based on agriculture our agriculture remained under the development for a long time but now great improvement has been made in agriculture another question which came in our mind is what is a crop when the same kind of plants are grown in the field on a large scale to obtain food like cereals cereals means wheat rice maize etc pulses kalbdali vegetables and fruits etc it is called a crop for example a crop of wheat means that all the plants of plants grown in the field are that of wheat a crop in is called fasal in hindi crops are grown in the soil in the fields by farmer farmer means kisan some of the examples of crops are given below cereal crops such as wheat paddy paddy means rice maize millet millet means bajra and jowar barley barley means grain crops another is pulses pulses means gram chana pea beans third one is oil seeds oil seed means mustard ground sunflower from which we can extract oil vegetables such as tomato cabbage spinach etc fruits such as banana grapes guava mango oranges and apples types of crops different crops are grown well in different season of year for example a crop may be grown well in rainy season during summer but it may not grow well in winter season similarly another crop may grow well in winter season but not in rainy season based on the season in which they are grown well all the crops are categorized into two main groups that are kharif crops and rabi crops the crops which are grown in the rainy season are called kharif crop the rainy season in india is generally from june to september the sowing of kharif crops started in Ju june july at the beginning of southwest monsoon because these crops particularly paddy means substantial amount of water kharif crop are harvested at the end of monsoon season during september or october some of the examples of kharif crops are paddy maize millet soya bean groundnut and cotton now comes rabi crops rabi crops rabi crops are grown in winter season 
the time period of rabi crop is generally from october to march the sowing of rabi crops begin in the beginning of winter that is october november and the number of crops are harvested by march or april some of the examples of rabi crops are wheat gram chana peas mustard and linseed basic practices of crop production in order to raise a crop successfully and profitably for food production a farmer has to perform a large number of tasks in a sequence the various tasks performed by the farmer to produce a good crop is called agricultural practices the various agricultural practices which are carried out at various stages of crop production are preparation of soil sowing adding adding manure and fertilizers irrigation removal of weeds harvesting storage of equipment so we must note down all these points in their notebook in addition to these regular agricultural practices one more agricultural practice is called rotation of crops rotation of crop means means is undertaken sometimes to improve the fertility of soil and increase the crop yield the various agricultural practices require certain tools or implements which are called agricultural implements we will now describe all the agricultural practices in detail to know how food is produced on a large scale first come preparation of soil the upper layer of earth is called soil the crop plants are grown in soil soil provides minerals water air humus etc to the plants preparation of soil is the first step in cultivating a crop for food production the crop is prepared for sowing the seeds of the crop by plowing and by leveling third one is manuring each one of these steps has its own significance this is described as the process of losing and turning of soil is called plowing or tilling as you can see in the picture the left one is a iron plow and a right one is a wooden plow preparation of soil is done by using a plow plows are made of wood or iron if the soil is very dry it may need watering before plowing the plowing field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs it is necessary to break these crumbs with a plank agricultural implements our next topic is agricultural implement before sowing the seed it is necessary to loosen and turn the soil in the field so as to break it to the size of grain the loosening and turning of soil in the field is done with the help of various agricultural implements the main agricultural implement used for loosening and turning the soil are plow hoe and cultivator first comes plow plow is a large agricultural implement which is used for plowing or tilling the soil in the field the traditionally used wooden plow is shown in figure the wooden plow consists of a long wood a, a long log of wood which is called plow shaft as you can see in the figure this is a handle there is a handle at one end of the plow shaft below the handle is a strong triangular iron strip called plow shear that you can see in the figure the other end of the plow shaft has can be attached to a wooden beam which is fixed at right end to the plow shaft this beam is placed over the neck of two bullocks or oxen or uh, so as to pull the plow 
Hoi is an agricultural implement which is used to remove weeds and loosening and turning of the soil. Hoi consists of a long rod of wood or iron. There is a handle at one end of the hoi. A strong rod and bent plate of iron is fixed below the handle and act like a blade. The another end of the hoi has a beam which is put on the neck of the bullock. Thus a hoi is also pulled by animals such as a pair of bullocks. The hoi is a kind of modified cloak that you can see in the figure. Under the hoi you can see the figure of spades which are also used to remove weeds which means the unwanted plants which grow along with the along with the meat, uh, meat crops. Now comes cultivator. The cultivator is a tractor driven agricultural implement which is used for loosening and turning the soil in the field quickly. Turning the soil soil means turning the soil up and down. A cultivator has many plosures which can dig into a considerable area of soil at the same time, loosen it and turn it. Due to this, many fields can be plowed in a short period of time by using a cultivator. In this way, the use of cultivator can help the farmer a lot. Nowadays, plowing of large field is done by using a tractor driven cultivator as you can see in a figure. This brings us to the end of part 1 of this chapter, crop protection and management. You can ask your doubts and questions by available means. Thank you students. Remember to join us again in the next part of to complete this chapter. Thank you.